Hi, I'm Mariko Gifford with Moringa for Life, and today I'm going to show you how to make some Moringa drinks. These are different beverages that we have done throughout the years. This first one is a drink that we make for our course. It's hot out, we need to be refreshed, we need to be energized, and so we've made this at a you know, three gallon batch. So this is a scaled down version. This is two cups of fresh Moringa, one cup of mint, and diluted in this is two tablespoons of honey. So this is orange blossom honey, so it's gonna have a little extra flavor there. And you can switch this out and make it with different kinds of mint or another herb that you like, like basil. There's many ways that you can do it. This other ingredient is your creative side. So sometimes we've used pineapple, mango, um, orange juice, many different varieties. So this is just going to be the basic and then you just take it from there. So put that two cups of moringa in there and one cup of mint. This will be pretty minty. Some people put less mint because they don't care for mint as much. They just want it to be slightly there. I put a lot. So I start out just with a small amount just to get it kind of going. Let's blend it up a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more water and a little bit of ice. You can just do a little bit or a lot. You know, some people really like cold drinks, but it's for the body is not so good. It's better if you can drink room temperature or close to room temperature. And this is a really hot day, so this wa water right here is pretty warm. So I'm going to add that and blend again. This is pretty well blended, and you can see it's a really beautiful color of green. And I have this pretty big strainer for this little cup, but we're going to strain that out. Now you're going to end up with a really good liquid on the bottom in that cup and this, what we strain away we're actually going to be able to use in, as pesto or put it in soup because a lot of the Moringa nutrition is locked in that leaf. Right now you're seeing this is a lighter color than what you would have with less mint or another variety of mint that's more green. This is actually called apple mint. So you're, you're seeing that. Now if you put this in soup, it's going to be something that's like Thai or uh, you know, a type of soup that you want to also have that mint in there. So this is how we strain it. So we've strained that. You can see that that's pretty dense. Uh, Moringa mint. This would be really, really uh, strong for me to just drink that. So I have this pitcher here and I'm going to just dilute it into there and I'm actually going to only put about half of that. Add a little bit of this honey. So that was two tablespoons and for this whole amount I would use two tablespoons. So we'll can do it in two batches where we make one batch with half of it and half of the honey and then put a little bit of ice to your taste. This is just to cool it a little bit because this has been like very very tepid water and then enjoy.